all right so finally we're about to do the server side rendering just for a brief if you are not following the series we have created all these components in react.js and we are using laravel mix this is our main component the main js this just wraps up all the other components and in the component inbound lifecycle we are fetching some dummy data and all this code is nothing but to generate a four column in a row structure as you can see in here and uh, with the return jsx we are just rendering our react component so what happens is that uh, whenever we uh, reloads our page opens the page it just hits a network request and with the return data we are filling up the page okay so the first thing we need is to download a laravel package called uh, the server side rendering laravel server side rendering let's uh, download this okay it's downloading and as you can see by this vendor publish we can actually get this configuration file and if we want we can change some configuration but actually i'm not going to change anything but uh, we'll have a look in the configuration file look at the code the package is downloaded now let's use the vendor publish and this file can be found in our config directory and ssr all right so okay hmm. all right we'll come to the setup later uh, what we have to do now is create a new file for our server to be able to execute for our node server basically uh, so and it's gonna be almost identical to this file so I'm just gonna duplicate this copy this and we have to give a name like main hyphen server.js but I why I am naming it as a server because it's actually gonna be a server executable file what I mean by server executable is that uh, if you actually understand the idea of re of SSR uh, what happens is that our server basically the V8 engine uh, returns the static markup with uh, with all the data and it is actually the server side rendered content so uh, in this file we will have to do some tweaks the first thing is that we cannot make any network request in this file so um, this actually has no meaning but if, but if you have noticed this was the way uh, we have filled up our state actually we have changed our state by the by the return data okay so actually in our server executable version there should be some way we can put the put the result uh, to the component so that uh, we can get all all the data all this uh, information uh, I'll get back to that also so one step at a time we don't need this page uh, and we also don't need this life cycle and I'm actually not gonna uh, change anything in this code because we still need the four column in a row structure and uh, now what we need is that the react dome server which has the render to string method react dome server from react dome slash server okay and we'll use it in here okay uh, we'll use the render to string method to generate the raw string and inside it it just accept a react component uh, so we don't need this part anymore all right and just as i mentioned uh, there should be some way we can feed our component uh, by some external data but as we cannot do some network request we have to use a different approach we have to use context uh, which actually the part of uh, this ssr package so you do let uh, 
give it a name list games maybe go to context if you don't know this is actually object destructuring of ES6 and as we don't have anything we have to use the power of props actually so I'm gonna give it a name of games list and it has to be the name exact like exact same of this one the destructured data so one simple another tweak is that we are not no longer using the state uh, basically we don't need this constructor anymore so do I have any other state mentioned no this is gonna be props of games list okay so our HTML is gonna have the raw industry let's give it a fragment I don't think we don't we don't need it because we have put it in here okay uh, one another thing is that we have to use a method called dispatch this is also not by react this is exclusively for this package so dispatch the HTML okay we're done now we just have to compile this file the compilation is done now we have to put the file in here and it will be inside here uh, we actually have now access to um, one helper called SSR so with the use of that helper you just have to keep the path of your server executable JS file which is now I think uh, in our public JS main hyphen server JS all right and this helper actually supports many more useful methods by which we can actually feed our component our component uh, the data and the data is gonna come by our PHP code definitely so mm, the name of the method is context and the name of the identifier should be exact same to this so the list of games is gonna be games and we are actually currently not sending any data but here we have to send all the games so games is games uh, you can see we're actually not JSON encoding it because by default uh, uh, this method actually encodes the data so whatever you pass it in here it has to be uh, array or multidimensional array actually uh, one other method we have to use is the render and you can see we are actually using uh, this structure we are not just echoing we are actually sending uh, uh, a raw data actually an unescaped without HTML special cares function uh, the data the raw the raw markup basically and nothing uh, I think for the coding part we are done but the, for the configuration part there are many things to do the first thing is that open your env file and put your environment to production for the SSR to work production and give it a new variable named node path and here is one tricky thing uh, where I have actually installed my node.js is in my C program space files node.js and a very long path actually I'm gonna show you now environment variable I'm actually using a Windows system okay so this is gonna be the way to do in Windows systems for Linux it's gonna be a little different here it is see that uh, in my environment variable uh, I have uh, actually this is by default uh, it sets its path on its own 
so um, uh, where my node.js is installed is basically C program files and node.js uh, one problem is gonna happen if I give this path in here uh, is that you can see there is a space in here so there is one way around you can give it uh, like that like a double quote you can put it but still it's gonna cause some error uh, it's because of the structure of how this uh, package is made the SSR package is made so the problem comes if you install node.js to a directory which has a space in any of its directory between uh, the installation folders so as I have the path set up in my environment variable I can use the node.exe file directly by node if you are not using any sp uh, in a directory which has no space then there is no problem you can use it just like uh, that you can give maybe it has some underscore you can simply give it like that there will be no problem one more thing to do is that we need to make sure we have a folder in our storage directory app and it's called SSR so what happens is that this is our server executable version of the code this actually gets executed by our node server the path here by our node server and by the help of this method of react the render to string basically there are many other like hydrate render to static markup and so on uh, you can study it later but this is most commonly what you are what you actually gonna use so this totally returns the static markup and this static markup uh, is then received by our PHP server and it just simply we just simply put it in our view file like this without the uh, HTML special care and with some context as a data all right so seems like everything is fine uh, let's see how it works if we see any error okay we have some error games yeah very common error we have to use the variable like that we don't have the scope I think we're done so let's see if we have the SSR content all right that's amazing so this is the server render string let's see one and let's do one another test you know I'm gonna disable my JavaScript uh, disable JavaScript and with the disabled JavaScript I'm gonna refresh my page yes JavaScript is actually not in here you can see JavaScript is not this is totally returned by the render data actually react is not showing up in here yeah it's in here but there is there is no component because it's totally static string there is no react thing in here but if I if I again turn on the JavaScript you can see what happens is that initially when the page loads the server rendered string is gets paste it into the page and after a little while the our front-end react code hits the server and ajax request and the return data comes to it and the react actually gets control over throughout the entire page I hope you have actually noticed that the current situation of our app actually doesn't require the ajax request in the react part when the component is actually mounted initially that's because the network request returns the data same as the data we are sending to the SSR version of our J script via this context. See the same data. So we can actually improve the performance of our application by simply removing this uh, network request and uh, feeding the component data via the php server return data and transforming the data into some js variable data so that our uh, front-end code can access it and we can do it by a very nice uh, php i mean laravel package i hope you can use it in uh, normal php applications too it's a very popular one this one i actually use it in all my uh, projects it's a very good package which we to JS transformer I'm not going into very deep into this I'll leave you to try this out once again thank you for watching 
please leave your comments about what you think stay tuned and goodbye